Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks for joining in. I'm looking at this hand, one heart, one spade. And I've got to say, I don't like it. I've got, uh, it looks good because I've got a heart fit. North's opened a half and I've got heart, so that's good. And six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 high card points. So that seems okay. But there's a couple of really bad things about this hand. One is that it's very balanced. So four, three, three, three shape or three, four, three, three. So four card heart suit and then three, three, three in the other suits. So no shape. And I really don't like that queen of third of spades. Just imagine we're playing in hearts. The fact that East has bid one spade, I mean, it could so easily go ace of spades, king of spades, another spade, and West roughs, and we lose the first three tricks before we've even started. So I'm not loving this hand, but I'm going to bid three hearts anyway because the two hearts just isn't enough. So I'm going to try a very nervous three hearts. What do you think, Sue? Hi, Sue. Welcome. Hi, Sunil. Uh, yeah, okay, so we a spade, a club, two or three down. We're probably, uh, I'm probably going to make, I'm probably going to make three hearts here, but only just, I suspect. Now, what I can do, I can, I can now, my queen of spades is good, and I can set up, a club so so I, um, basically I can draw trumps um, and my queen of spades I can throw one of those diamonds and then the queen of clubs jack of clubs and king of clubs that's going to give me another trick so on the king of clubs I'm get, going to get to throw another one of my diamonds so all I've got to do now is uh play basically draw trumps and make just make sure that i finish okay trumps broke so that's great so i can just concede a club now and i'm going to be able to go back to the king of clubs a uh, queen of clubs back to the Jack of Hearts, King of Clubs throwing a diamond, back over to the King of Hearts. Now, the reason I'm going back over to the King of Hearts here is that I want to play a diamond towards the King of Diamonds to take this diamond finesse. And if East has got the Ace of Diamonds, I'm actually going to end up making four. Well, I made four anyway because someone threw away the ten of diamonds. All right, so I was a bit lucky there. Um, yeah, West threw away um, too many diamonds there, and so my eight of diamonds ended up winning a trick. But uh, so we we did okay. Uh, you know, I could have easily. Uh, we certainly had no chance of making four, and. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. So there we go. Okay, let's play hand three. All my all my worrying, worry, worry, was worried about that hand, and it turned out okay. But it, I didn't like it. All right, let's play hand two. And uh, hey, Terence, Steve, Quinton, Dawn, two Dawns. We've got a couple of Dawns watching tonight. Welcome everybody. Or well, this morning whatever it is, wherever you are. 10, 12 high card points. Sunil got a 28 point hand yesterday. That doesn't happen very often. 10, 12, what are we gonna do with this? Uh, well, it's not a super hand, I must say. Okay, this is an interesting hand. Hey, Jenny, what would you do with this hand? So I'm playing Akol. So my one no trump opening is 12 to 14. So I could open a one no trump. It's slightly unbalanced and 
my hearts and spades aren't great, but maybe that's an okay choice. I could open a club. But my problem is if I open a club and partner bids a heart or a spade, I gotta I'm not loving. I'm not loving that either. Um, I could actually pass on this hand. Wouldn't be the worst bit in the world. I just don't. But I'm I'm actually going to open a no trump. It's it could be awful, but I've only got um, I do have a decent buy card suit, so it's kind of got a little bit of extra playing strength. Jenny's not loving no trumps. Yeah, I'm not loving no trumps either, um, Jenny. But I'm going to do this anyway, for better or worse. All right, well, that's good. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. Now, three diamonds is... Now, Jen, Jenny's saying two doubletons. I know, you're not really unusual to have two doubletons for a one-no-trump opening, especially two small ones like this. But I didn't fancy the idea of opening a club. Basically, one no trumps might be the right contract, so I wasn't going to... Um, there you go. There's another thing. Partner knows our point count now. Yep. Anyway, so I'm going to pass three diamonds there. I'm pretty sure I can't remember how the computer is set up, but I think three diamonds just says I want to play on three diamonds. It's not forcing. Yep. Perfect. Oh, that was a good guess from North. Putting three diamonds, not three hearts. So we are. What are we going to do here? We're going to. We're going to, well, can sort of just establish the club suit, I think, and rough one of my spades. I'm just going to lose two hearts. And, yeah, I'm just going to do this. Let's just do this. Uh, was that one? Two spades. I think I want to play, sort of want to play. I'm just going to play some clubs first and see what happens. Good. Now, the clubs are kind of set up, so I'm probably good to go here. So I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to lose a couple of hearts in the end. Uh, Well, not out of the woodwork yet. Let's play King of Clubs. Okay, so the clubs are good. There's one diamond left. I'm just going to lose two hearts. So I'll draw the last trump and play the clubs. I might have been better to draw a round of trumps first. I'm not really sure, but this is all fine. Oh, uh, probably makes no difference. Still have the queen and king and jack of hearts to lose. Oops, we don't now. <laughs> so Anne's saying, why the resistance to opening one no trump when one club is quite good? The problem was it was my second bid that I was worried about. If I open a club, let's say I'd opened one club, Actually, I'm just going to leave Anne's question up there. It's a good question. Thank you, Anne. If I had opened a club, North would have bid one heart. And now what I would do on the second round, it's my second bid that I'm worried about. Um, on the second round, I couldn't bid one no trump because, because I'm playing Akol. Bidding a no trump on the second round would show 15 to 16 or 15 to 17 points. So I wouldn't have been able to do that. My only... The only thing I could do would to be rebid two clubs. I couldn't bid two diamonds because that would be a reverse. Now, even if you're not um, not comfortable with the reverses, it was the fact that if I open a club, I would have to bid something at the two level on the second round. And I don't really want to bid two clubs on that hand with a five card suit. And I never get to play in one no trump. So if I open a club, I'm never going to be able to play on one no trump. And one no trump might have been the right contract. 
So I don't want to lose the opportunity to play in one no Trump if it you know, might be the right contract. That's all. So I know one no Trump could have been awful, could have been a disaster, but um, it's, it actually turned out quite well. I, it, it's interesting. I wonder, let's just have a little peek. I'm wondering what everyone else managed to do on that hand, why my score was so good. Uh, 263 players. Look at this. 200, the vast majority of players. Well, okay, so this is interesting. Another thing about One No Trump is that it is a little bit preemptive. So if I'd opened a club, I'm not sure. Maybe West would have been one spade. Actually, let's try. If I'd opened a club, West would have been some number of spades. And they would have the opposition probably would have got to play in some spade contract, but by opening one you no know, trump, it's a bit preemptive. And it there we go. One club, three spades, four spades. So that one no trump opening bid makes it a little bit harder for the opposition to bid accurately as well, because we've taken up a bit of their bidding space. So that's one other good thing about the no trump. Um opening bid. It just makes it a little bit harder for the opposition. Now, I, I know it could have been a disaster, so um, it worked out this time, but it didn't have to work out so well. Okay, pass, one heart, pass. Well, yeah, another interesting one. What do we do here? I, I mean, I can pass um, or I could bid one no trump. I can't bid two diamonds because if I bid a new suit at the two level, that shows a stronger hand. So my choices, I've got two choices. I can either pass or I can bid one no trump. And in this case, I think I'm just going to pass. Although uh, this is a little bit interesting as well. Hey, Jim, welcome from Kawia. If I pass, it does mean that West has an easy might bid one spade and get into the bidding. Whereas if I bid one no trump, maybe it'll help again, like the previous hand, it might make it that much harder for the opposition to know what to do. But I'm going to, I am going to pass because, ah, well, interesting. Sort of, yeah, sort of, yeah, it's interesting. What has North got there? 14, 15, 19, well, we would have made a lot of diamonds. We would make five or even six diamonds. Um, but we wouldn't make no trumps. Interesting. Okay, anyway, what are we in one heart? Actually, we've got a bit of a problem in hearts too, because we've only got six hearts between us. Urgh. That's That's awkward. I'm just going to duck this. Now I've got a bit of a problem, you see, because if I if I rough, if I rough with the eight of hearts and then draw two rounds of trumps, someone's still got a trump left. Okay, so let's think this through carefully because it's quite it's quite an interesting. We've got to plan a little bit ahead on this hand. Hey, Kevin, welcome. So if I rough with the eight of hearts and play the ace king of trumps, there's still going to be two trumps. There's still going to be a trump outstanding. And so what's going to happen is eventually somebody's going to rough my diamonds or clubs, and then they're going to run all the spades. So... I can't really afford to rough with the eight of hearts. What I can do here is throw the two of clubs. And now if the opposition play another spade, okay, if the opposition now play another spade, I'm going to be able to rough with the six of hearts, roughing in the shorthand rather than the longhand. Okay, so now they've switched to a heart. So now I can play one, Ooh. 
Jack of Hearts, really? I wonder if Trump's break really badly. Oh, well, let's try. Okay, that's good news. All right, so there's only one Trump remaining now. So that's great. So I can just play all my other suits. So I'm going to play the Ace of Clubs just in case the Singleton Queen falls, doesn't. Now I'm just going to play all the diamonds. And eventually um, someone's going to rough. And my last diamond is going to be a winner. Now this is is little it is a bit interesting here too because if i play if i play three rounds of diamonds and the opposition rough the third round of diamonds and then play a spade i've got no entry back to the south hand um so but i don't think the defense are up to it i think yeah there you go so west is roughed which is a bit lucky for me if west hadn't roughed I would have had to take the club finesse in the end. But I'm okay now. I can just play uh, club, uh, king of clubs, and then ace of diamonds and another diamond. Does that make sense, what I'm saying at the end there about that roughing? If, if I had roughed, if West had waited until the third, roughed the third round of diamonds, I'd have no entry back to my hand and I would have ended up losing one more trick at the end. Okay, uh, interesting hand. I like that hand. All right, let's play hand four. Seven, eight, nine. One diamond, one heart. Hmm. Another interest. These are great hands. These are this, many of these hands we've got lots of different choices and they're all close so here for example um i could bid two diamonds now i know if you're playing standard one diamond is often going to be a three card suit or sometimes going to play a three card suit so you might not be that keen on supporting the diamonds i think it wouldn't be terrible to support the diamonds even if you were playing standard uh, so two diamonds is a possibility uh, one spade is a possibility to show that four card major a negative double, if you're used to playing negative doubles there, a double to show four card spade suit would be another option. Not super keen on one no trump because my hearts aren't that good. And I think either supporting the diamonds or showing the spades might be better. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to a bit of spade. Now I know for many of you, a negative double here to show that four card spade suit would be um, what you would do, but on the Skybridge Club computer, you can computer, computer, you can bid a spade, and it, that's fine. It still just shows a four card spade suit. So um, don't be shocked by this one spade bit if you're thinking I should make a negative double. That's that's fine. One diamond, one heart, two clubs, three clubs. Whoa! Well, well, well. What do you think, everybody? What should we do on this hand now? Don't sort of don't want to go to the three level. What would you all do on this hand? I'm not bidding game. I'm not going to bid four spades. So my choices are either defend three clubs or go on to three spades myself. What should we do on this hand? Now I know what I'm going to do. I've already made my mind up. I'm just wondering what you guys think. So Neil's going to bid three diamonds. Yep. That'll be reasonable, Sunil. Good. Uh, any other takers? There's a slight, there is a danger that North might only have three card spade support. North might be, after a diamond, a heart, a spade, North could easily only have three card spade suit here, stuck with something to do. So, no guarantee we've got a spade fit. All right, we've got lots of different answers. Jim's going to pass. Quinton's going to bid three spades. Kevin's going to pass. Terence is going to bid three spades. Sunil's going to bid three diamonds. I'm going for three spades because I'm greedy. You know, three diamonds is probably safer, but I'm going for three spades. Actually, three diamonds probably is better, Sunil. Three spades. 
three times probably is better. But I'm going to be greedy anyway because that's what I said I'd do. The thing is, we've got a double fit. We're, we're likely, to, we've possibly got a good spade fit and a good diamond fit. Plus, West is going to almost certainly lead a club. Teresa, you, I think you might be right. Three diamonds might have been better. Ah, uh, okay. No, this is fine. That's, that's pretty good. We're going, this is pretty good. We've got a heart to lose, maybe a diamond to lose, and probably two spades, maybe one spade. Okay, so that double fit is, is really the, what's helped us a lot here. So I'm going to win the club. I'm going to play a spade. This is a good suit combination to know. I don't think I've got any other clues here. Um, I'm going to play, how would you play the spade suit? So I'm probably going to lose two spades, but if I'm lucky, I might only lose one spade. So if, I, if I'm only going to lose one spade, I've got two possible ways to play this. I could play a spade to the jack, low spade from the south hand, jack from the north hand, and hope that West has got the king and queen of spades. The other thing I could do is I could play a low spade to the seven, and hope that West has got the Ten of Spades plus one of the other spade honours. So if West has got the Queen of Spades and the Ten of Spades, or the King of Spades and the Ten of Spades, a low spade to the Seven here will work. So let's try this. Uh, okay, it didn't work. Just my luck, probably West is going to have the King, Queen of Spades now. <laughs> Actually, this isn't so good now. Uh, I'm going to have to finesse the diamonds now before I lose control of this hand. Oh! Hoo -hoo. Well, it's not all bad news because at least I know the diamond finesse is working. So I can... All right, that's the trumps gone. So I'm actually going to make the rest of the tricks. I'm going to end up making four because the diamond finesse works. All the trumps are gone. Now I've got trumps to finish with. All right, so we end up making um, 10 tricks, which is good. So now uh, let me say, I want to be very clear on this. I've had a couple of good scores because I chose, a, I, I was greedy and it paid off this time. And what I did won't always pay off. I chose spades rather than diamonds, even though my spades weren't very good. And even though I was aware that North might have only had three card spade suit, I chose spades because they score most. Spade scores more than diamonds. So I was greedy and it paid off but it didn't necessarily have to pay off. It was just what I did. And a hand, I think it was last hand, hand before, I chose that one no trump opening, even though it was not a little dodgy for one no trump, because no trump scores more than clubs or diamonds, even though we ended up playing in diamonds. But it's, it's not a right or wrong thing. It's just how greedy you want to be. And sometimes it's disastrous. And sometimes it works out okay. It's working out for me okay to be greedy tonight. That's all. Doesn't always work. Um, but it's just a, it's just a, you know, you've got to decide how you want to play the game. A lot of the time, I don't think there is a right or wrong answer. And I've just decided that when I play, I'm going to, be greedy <laughs> a lot of the time. Is, you know, I've got these situations where I'm prepared to be greedy and it's often it's a disaster. And choosing the, the way you guys want to play, I think is a good thing. You can say, no, I don't like that. And just be consistent with what you're doing. And um, you'll get some good results and some bad results. But it's kind of nice developing your own style and being comfortable with your own style. I guess that's my message. 
So that's a pass. One of Trump. I've shown my hand. Two hearts are just to play. And this looks okay. This looks all fine. Do you, do you not understand what I mean? It's not, I'm not saying nothing's, I'm not talking about right or wrong. I'm just talking about developing a style. So when you're stuck, you don't have to rack your brain. You just sort of say, well, you know, in this situation, my style is to do such and such. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But that's just the style you get comfortable with. And um, that way, I guess, when it goes wrong, you don't have to feel so bad because um, you know it'll the swings and roundabouts. Okay, uh, what are we going to do here? I think I'm just going to play. I'll just play Ace of Hearts. Another heart. Good. Like nice to see that king on side. I am. I am a bit. I am being a bit lucky today. That's for sure. Uh, what are we going to do? I think we can throw a spade here, draw the last trump, and I can just basically I'm just going to end on north hand and then finesse the diamonds. Doesn't matter that loses because I still had a trump left, so I'm going to end up making 10. So Jim's made a good point too. Uh, Jim has said aggressive style can aggravate partner. Right. So it's something you've got to work out with your partner as well. It's not your own, it's not just you, it's a partnership game. And um the yeah that's true Jim it can but some so you've got to find a partner who accepts your style and you've got to accept your partner's style or work your way trying to get comfortable with it it's always good to talk Jim um yeah but you know I, don't, I also think I think you have to be respectful to your partner for sure. But you can't go around playing bridge to please your partner all the time as well. If you want to be, if you really want to be, you know, swingy roundabout sort of player, you can't go around just playing bridge to please your partner because that will only lead to frustration in the end. And I've done that. I've played with partners who I won't play with anymore <laughs> because. We just drive each other crazy. And I feel like I'm constrained or, you know, I can't be myself. It's nothing to do with the partner's ability, but if I can't be myself when I'm playing, I'm just not going to play with that partner anymore. I'm not. I'm gonna, I want to be myself when I play bridge. Quinton's saying, if you both are aggressive, you could get into a lot of trouble. Yes, you can. It kind of doubles up the danger. But it can also work in your favor as well. You know, if you sit, it can be terrifying to sit down against two aggressive players because, oh my God, they're just bam, bam, bam. And it's hard work playing against aggressive players. So if you are the aggressive players, getting in there and, you know, doing your stuff, you can, you can do very well um, as an aggressive partnership. Uh, it can work well where one you got the four got you know the 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 four guy and the and the funny guy good cop bad cop um so terence yeah aggressiveness certainly in certainly in certain some situations aggression is very much currently in vogue light opening bids you know nobody well you're Favorable vulnerability, and you're the dealer. See, the good players are opening on rubbish hands as dealer when not vulnerable versus vulnerable. Man, they're going crazy because it seems to work. Um, yeah. Do what works for 
yourselves and play the way you enjoy playing. That's it, really. That's what I reckon. 8, 9, 10, 13. Uh, I'm going to bid a no trump. Now, aggression, of course, doesn't mean just bidding more and bidding games and all the rest of it. Because personally, I don't, I'm not particularly, I'm not aggressive at all bidding games and slams. I'm, I'm quite happy playing in part scores. My, I like my aggression to be in the, you know, trying to get to play a part score rather than defend. But it, when it comes to bidding games and slams, I'm a bit of a wimp, to be honest. So it's not all gung-ho. Just got to, you know, try and pick your spots, I guess. Okay, uh, what have we got here? We're going to make probably six diamond tricks if the diamonds break. They might not break, but hopefully six diamond tricks. A club is seven, a couple of spades is nine, and a heart is ten. So we're probably going to be okay here. Five of hearts lead. Hmm. Really? I'm surprised about that. So West must have ace, king, fifth or sixth of hearts or something. Five, three. We know West has probably got two of hearts. Uh, okay, well, we just need the diamonds to break. Fingers crossed. Diamonds break. All right, so we're good to go. So we can play all the diamonds. We probably can't afford to finesse the speed because as soon as we lose the lead, um, we're going to lose all those hearts. So I'm just going to have to take all my tricks, I think. Here's the two of clubs, two of spades. I can afford to throw a heart. Yeah, so West did have a six card heart suit um, because West led the five of hearts and uh, he's also shown up with the four and two of hearts. So he's led the five as his fourth highest the four was his fifth highest, and the two was his sixth highest. So we know West started with a six-card heart suit and a um, three-card diamond suit. This could be a little bit interesting here. On the... I, I kind of want to, I'd like to finesse, no, nobody bid anything, did they? I whispered two hearts. I sort of, you know, I can take nine, ten tricks easily enough, but I'm just wondering how to get another one. I'm a little tempted to play... Oh... Rest through one heart. Three, four, three hearts left. Uh, I really, I kind of want to play. A, mm, I kind of want to play a club and maybe give East the lead and see what happens, but I just can't afford to do it. I just can't afford to do it. I'm just going to take my 10. Desmond's saying take the 10. Yeah, take the 10 tricks, Graham, and stop messing around. Take the 10 tricks. Desmond, I think you're right. Take the 10 tricks. I just can't afford to finesse. Uh, I'm not going to finesse. Well, I could have finessed. There you go. Never mind. Okay. Could have finessed the spade, but didn't. Okay.
Ed has got a question. Let's turn this over to the board. Just to, the other night I had a 5 3 3 2 hand with the 5 being a major. Partner is a five card mage opener. I bid one no trump and she didn't like it. We went down. What is your opinion, Graham? Have a think about that one. I'm going to play the next hand and then we can talk about it in a, after the next hand. Everybody have a think about that question from Heather. Five, six, seven, eight. That's a pass. <clears throat> Two clubs. There's pass. Three no trumps. Pass, pass, pass. North leads a heart. What was the option? A heart, a heart, two clubs, three no trumps, and North lead a heart. Interesting. I'm surprised North lead a heart given that West bid one heart. North must have a stack of hearts. Okay, fine. Oh, that's nice. So now we can. That's not so nice. I don't really want to throw a spade because then the spades. I don't want to. I don't want to throw anything. But I don't. I just don't want to throw a spade. And that's why I didn't want to throw a spade because uh, I had to keep my spades. Uh, no space left. Okay, so back to uh, Heather's question. Would, would you ever open a no trump with a five card major? That's the question really. And yeah, I would often. And sometimes it works and sometimes it, well, works is not the right word. Yes, often, because, yeah, often. And, you know, sometimes you're going to get a bad score and wish you'd open a heart. And sometimes you open a heart or a spade and wish you'd open a no trump. You can't let one result, you can't let one result mess around with you. So you open a no trump with a five card major and get one bad result and think, oh, no, it's a disaster. I can never do that again. Bridge just doesn't work like that. Bridge is a game of making many, many, many decisions. You, when you've done it a thousand times and 550 times you've got a good score and 450 times you've got a bad score, then in the long run you can say I'm slightly better off opening a no trump. Sure, sometimes it's not going to work. But... Um, here, Marion's got a good question. You know, sometimes you open the major and you don't have a good, good bid to make on the second round. Um, so, yeah, don't don't let one bad result mess you up. I'm 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 proud of you, Heather, just for opening a no trump with a five card major because it's not what they normally teach you at beginners class. But sometimes it's definitely the right thing to do. Five, that's a pass. One heart, one spade, two no trumps. Three no trumps, pass, pass, pass. One heart, one spade, two no trumps, three no trumps. Not going to lead a spade, that's West suit. Not going to lead a heart. That's East suit. I could lead a club or a diamond here. You might think, well, why not lead a diamond? That's my longest unbid suit. But you know, sometimes it's okay to just lead a safe, safer suit and just wait for our tricks. So we're we going to play safe here and lead a club, or we're we going to play more aggressive and lead a diamond. I'll lead a diamond, but. No, club might have been right. Two, five, three, seven. Ooh. Oh, look at these hearts. Go, partner. Go, partner. Uh, I 
I can't remember what East opened. What did it, East opened a club, didn't it? Oh, uh huh. Hmm. Oh, I'll throw a club, I guess. Ten of diamonds, that's annoying. Uh, I'm just going to duck. Maybe North's got the jack. Oh, he did. How about that? Oh, look, my diamonds win. That's the winner. Now, I don't really want to lead a spade because if I do, Wes is just going to play the queen and that's going to win the trick. So, oh, oh, blast. Ah, ah. Miss click. I said I'm not going to play a spade and I went to play a club and I clicked on the spade. Ah, it's annoying. <laughs> that's exactly why I didn't want to play a spade. And I clicked the wrong damn card. Okay, never mind. I meant to play a club as a safe exit, but I didn't. It's annoying. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, itchy triggy finger, itchy, itchy trigger finger. Yes, Desmond. I can't, um, I'm a symbol, I can't talk and click at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Five, six, seven, eight. Worst things happen, let's see. It's been a bad day. I bought a new sweater. And normally I wear blue or dark sweaters. And today I got a, today I was wearing this light colored sweater. And I got to the coffee shop, had my coffee and a snack, and immediately dribbled food on my um, new lighter colored sweater, which I wouldn't have noticed. I would have got away with it with a, my dark blue sweater. So it's just been a it's just been a bummer of a day all around, really. Pass pass five six seven eight. Okay, let's have a bit of fun. Let's have a bit of fun on this hand. Let's do something. Let's just forget about the bridge lessons. Let's not forget about right and wrong or whatever. Let's just go a bit crazy on this hand. It is north's past and east is past and east-west are vulnerable and we're not vulnerable. So... You know, there's a good chance that East and West have got some sort of game on here. So what can we do to really mess things up a bit? Forget about the rules. We can do whatever we want, all right? Partner's not going to get upset. King, um, dopey king up there, he's always got a nice smile on his face. So let's think of the crazy thing that we want to do, the craziest thing. Jim's going to be two diamonds. All right, week two in diamonds, yep. Um, we're supposed to have six card diamond suit. We've only got five. Fine. I like that, Jim. What else could we do? We're going to go for the craziest. Two diamonds is... I like two diamonds. Uh, we could bid one diamond. We could bid one spade. We could bid three diamonds. Pretend we've got seven of them. So let, okay, let's not go too crazy. I think what you're all saying is good. Let's go for two diamonds. Sue's going, Sue's going to go one spade. I don't mind one spade either because it is the major suit. Maybe we've got a spade, but I like that idea, Sue. But it looks like uh, with Jim, Heather, Terence, we're all going for two diamonds. So we'll go with the majority. I like, I like one spade. Sue, I don't mind three diamonds. Um, but we'll go with two diamonds. <laughs> Well, you know, this one good thing is that North is going to lead a diamond. So at least we've got North four diamonds. <laughs> now North probably thought we had a six-card diamond suit, but this might still might not be bad. This still might not be bad because, you know, let's say we're we're in four diamonds, double down three. This is our best hope. If we're in four diamonds, double down three, but minus 500, 
that still might be better than the opposition making 600 in their three no Trump contract. So we don't want to, let's not get upset yet. Let's just see what happens. That's not a bad bid. Maybe the opposition would have made three no Trumps. I mean, if I'd passed and North was on lead, North probably wouldn't have led a diamond. North probably would have led a heart. And the opposition would have made four club tricks, a couple of hearts is six, a diamond is seven, a couple of spades is nine. Gosh, so this may actually be okay. So ace of hearts, all right. King of clubs, yeah. Ten of clubs, okay. Four of spades. This is actually going okay. We have got to be a bit careful, so I need to play the king of spades. Now I need to discard a spade quickly. It's no good playing the king of hearts because I still have a spade to lose. So I need to get to my hand quickly and play the queen of clubs, throwing away that spade. So I can do that by roughing a heart. Queen of clubs throwing a spade. Um, now I can, let's get rid of some trumps. Uh, I can, everyone followed, didn't they? Yeah, so I can just rough this in my hand, draw the last two trumps. And play a rough a spade and then the king of hearts is a winner. So we're two off, minus 300. The only question is, would they have made game? Now, we get a, not such a good score, but let's just check whether the opposition could have made game. Or, well, they could have. You know, I think we're a bit unlucky there, to be honest. I, I quite like North's four diamond bid. I think the opposition probably could have made game there easily enough. West could have made four hearts or, gosh, I mean, on a heart lead, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. I think we were a bit unlucky. I, I think our four diamond bid was probably the right contract. I think probably the computer West as declarer probably didn't play it the hand optimally. Um, so, here, I mean, this is another example of what we were talking about before. I think we did well. I think I like the two diamond bid. I like North's four diamond bid. Um, I, I thought it was a good con. I thought it was likely to be a good sacrifice, but unfortunately, I suspect the computer went down when it didn't have to go down so much. Oh, look at all these other. Look at so many people playing in diamonds. I'm surprised. Um, anyway, many players. Look at this. 126 times the West or East, probably West, went down on their full heart contract when I really think they should have made it. So we get a bad score. Not our fault. Everybody, we did good. Um, we, we got a bad score, but that wasn't because the two diamond bit was bad. That was because the declarer didn't manage to make the right number of tricks and four hearts. So, um, you know, we could have looked at that hand and said, oh, that's a disaster. I never should have done that. But we should have. It was the right thing to do. It just, it just, um, the operation was a success, but the patient died sort of thing. One heart passed two diamonds, two spades. Hmm. Well, I'm going to bid three spades. I don't like the vulnerability, but... If I pass, West is going to bid something again, for sure. West is not going to let North play in two spades. So West is going to bid something. And I'm just going to make it a bit harder for West, maybe. Oh, no, I didn't want that. No, no, now North's, now North's got upset about the last hand. But North, there was no need to get upset about the last hand. It was a good contract. 
No, this is no good. We're two off. Ah. It, we, this still actually might be a good result. Actually, this probably is a good result. All this should be a good result. Because East and West could have made four hearts. If we were defending against their four heart contract, we would have scored one heart at the most and one spade at the most. So the opposition can make four spades. So let's think of this in the same way that we thought about the last hand. We do the right thing and it doesn't always work out, sometimes because we screw up and sometimes we're a bit unlucky. But on this hand, we're in four spades doubled. We're going to go down, but we should be thinking, oh, this is good because the opposition can definitely make 620 or even 650. So even if we're down two for minus 500, we still should get a good score. Now, if we get a bad score, again, it doesn't mean that we've done something wrong. It's four hearts, really? Mm, okay. Doesn't mean we've done something wrong. Oh, hang on, we're 800. No, no, we have done something wrong. We're, we're three down. We're going down three. Sorry, we are we are too many down. We're, we're too many down. <laughs> we have done something wrong. North, we did something wrong. We're going too many down. We're, we're definitely too high. Uh, okay, well, we're going to need some misdefense. Don't think we're going to get it. No, all right, three down. All right, no, we were, we were too high. Okay, so too high. No, no excuses. We just got too high. Um, yeah. Now I, I'm not sure if anything I've talked about makes sense tonight. I hope it does. Um, let me. Very quickly, very quickly, there's two points I wanted to make. We, we do things, we make bids, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work, whatever, that's bridge. Secondly, perhaps more importantly, find a way that you like to play and play it. That's my, my recommendation. Third thing, stick to dark blue clothes if you dribble. <laughs> All right, see you all. I will uh, see you all next week. Bye.